This presentation is called Get Ready for 31st of January 2024 Changes to Import Controls Animal Products. It was first presented on the 9th of January 2024. This session will cover changes to the border processes for EU imports of animal products, products of animal origin, animal byproducts, and germinal products that you'll see from the 31st of January 2024 with a focus on import notifications and export health certificates. Changes taking place from the 30th of April 2024 for imports of EU and non-EU products will be covered in detail in our Trader Information se Sessions in February. Please visit our Eventbrite page to register for these events. This session won't cover risk categories of individual products due to time constraints, movement of Northern Ireland qualifying Northern Ireland goods, HMRC customs information or home office borders information. This is the information that you'll see in this presentation. Definitions. Products of animal origin or human consumption. This includes, but is not limited to, the following food groups. Meat, fishery products and seafood for human consumption, eggs and eggs products, milk and milk products, honey, gelatine and gelatine products. Animal byproducts are materials of animal origin that are not intended for human consumption. ABPs include, amongst others, animal feed, technical products, organic fertilisers and soil improvers. ABPs are a potential source of animal diseases or chemical contaminants and can be dangerous to animal and human health if not properly used. Great Britain's rules regulate their handling, processing, movement and disposal. Germinal products. Any germinal product that includes semen, oocytes and embryos intended for artificial reproduction and hatching eggs. Germinal products have been categorised as high risk. From 31st of January, germinal products imports from EU and EFTA countries will continue to require import notification, health certification and documentary checks. Import notification will change from being made using an imp to a ched using iPaths. Some consignments will be continue to be selected for identity checks to take place at destination as they are now. The border target operating model. On the 29th of August 2023, the UK government published a new border target operating model, setting out a new approach to safety and security controls which apply to all imports, and sanitary and cyto phytosanitary controls for anim animal products and plant products at the border. The, the border target operating model was developed following extensive engagement with the border industry and businesses across the UK. The border target operating model approach phases in a proportionate risk-based approach to import controls. It ensures World Trade Organization compliant official controls, and it uses trust. Trusted trader schemes are being piloted with industry, where authorized importers of certain animal products will be eligible for facilitations. What changes does the border target operating model introduce for animal product imports from the EU and EFTA countries? From 31st of January, 2024, risk categories, Commodities have been categorised as high, medium or low risk. Medium risk commodities will need an export health certificate issued by the competent authority in the country of export. Import notifications will switch format from IMP to CHED for animal products and will start to be required for EU goods from the island of Ireland. That is, goods that are not Northern Ireland qualifying Northern Ireland goods. From 30th of April 2024, all animal product imports will need to enter Great Britain via a port of entry, excluding EU goods from the island of Ireland, i.e. that are not qualifying Northern Ireland goods. These checks will start no earlier than the 31st of October 2024. Medium risk commodities will be subject to a percentage check rate. EU to GB imports take action now. If you are a supplier, exporter or consignor from the EU, 
before the 31st of January 2024. Find out the risk category of your products. This will give you the information on the process you need to follow. If your product is medium risk, it will need an export health certificate produced in traces or other national systems. Contact your local competent authority for information on providing export health certificates. If your product is high risk, it will continue to need an export health certificate produced in traces or other national systems. If you are the person or operator responsible for the consignment when it enters Great Britain, before the 31st of January 2024, find out the risk category of the product you are importing. This will give you the information on the process you need to follow. Check your supplier can provide a health certificate if your product is in the medium risk category. Register for IPATHs if you or your agent are new to submitting import notifications. From 31st of January 2024, ask your supplier to provide an export health certificate if the product you are importing is medium risk or commercial document if it is low risk. Example, importing a low risk animal product of animal origin for human consumption product from an EU country from the 31st of January 2024. Step 1. Check the import risk category of your product. 1a. Find out the commodity code of your product. You can use the trade tariff tool on GovUK to look up the commodity code and also customs duty and VAT rates. 1b. Check the risk category of your product using the code or product type. Look on GovUK for check import risk categories and related rules for animals and animal products imported from the EU to Great Britain from 31st of January 2024. Know the risk category of your products. You will need to know the risk category to make sure you follow the correct import process as the UK government applies SBS controls products proportionally based on their import risk category. The import risk category is assigned to a product based on the inherent risk that a product poses to human, animal health, food safety, biosecurity and public health, alongside the risk specific to the country of origin. For example, the prevalence of pestilence diseases and the standard of official health controls. You will need to know the risk category to complete the import notification. Step two, check the guidance on GovUK for your product. The guidance on GovUK will tell you the process to follow based on the risk category of your product. For example, importing a product of animal origin for human consumption product from the EU or EFTA country that is in the low risk category. This is the process from 31st of January, 2024. Use the import, import of products, animals, food and feed system or IPATHs on GovUK to create and submit an import notification. You will not need an export health certificate. Low risk category consignments can, uh, should come with a commercial document from the supplier. Step three, submit an import notification. Import notification means giving advance notice to the responsible authority for goods that arrive in Great Britain. Notification of imports in advance of arrival in Great Britain is already in place for EU countries and non-EU countries. It will be introduced for EU goods, for example, that are not qualified Northern Ireland goods, imports from the island of Ireland from the 31st of January 2024. An import notification must be made by the person responsible for the consignment or the operator responsible for the consignment to the authorities one working day before the expected arrival of the goods. An import notification can be made up to 30 days before arrival. What's included in an import notification? The import notification asks questions about the commodity and the consignment. Commodity information includes commodity code, description and species, weight and packing information and any treatment information. Geographical information, including country of origin, country of consignment, the Great Britain port of entry and the place of destination. The date and estimated time of arrival at the port of entry. Transport information, including mode of travel. Contact details for the consigner, the person or operator responsible for the consignment once it arrives in Great Britain. 
and the consignee. PDFs of supporting documentation should be uploaded. For example, an export health certificate from the 31st of January for high and medium risk products only, a commercial document, commercial invoice, way bills or bill of lading. Shared import notification for animal products from the EU and EFTA countries. From the 31st of January 2024, import notifications of EU and EFTA animal product imports created and, su and submitted on IPATHs will change from the IN format to the Common Health Entry Document import notification format. Importers of animal product imports from non EU and EFTA countries already create and submit part one of the CHED import notification using IPATHs. From the end of January 2024, those importing animal products from EU and EFTA countries will also create and submit CHED import notifications on IPATHs. This aligns the import notifications for both EU and non-EU countries as set out in the UK government's border target operating model. Please continue to use IPATHs as usual. Some sections of the CHED import notification are identical to the IMP notification, while others are formatted differently or ask for additional information. This is information which you will have readily available in your import documentation. <coughs> Health certification. From 31st of January 2024, export health certificates or EHCs will be required for the import of medium import risk animal products for EU and EFTA exports to Great Britain. Germinal products are high risk and will continue to require EHCs. Exporters and suppliers, for information on how to apply for an EHC, please contact your competent authority or an official veterinarian in your country. To recap, low risk animal products will not require an export health certificate. Medium risk animal products will start to require an EHC from the 31st of January 2024. Germinal products are high risk and will continue to require an EHC. Digital certification, PDFs. From the 31st of January 2024, GB authorities will encourage the use of a digitally signed and verifiable Great Britain Export Health Certificate or EHC created in traces and a number of other EU and EFTA member state systems in place of the paper version of the certificate. There is a list of EU and EFTA countries and compatible systems on GovUK. The exporter must create the EHC in the system, ensure it has been digitally signed by the competent authority in the exporting country and download the EHC as a PDF format document. The exporter needs to send the PDF to the person submitting the import notification so that it can be attached to the notification. The use of PDFs is highly encouraged as it will allow for a smoother flow through the border control post when checks on medium risk animal products from EU and EFTA countries start at the end of April. Where a verifiable PDF certificate cannot be provided by the EU or EFTA country exporting the goods, and a paper copy is presented, a scanned copy must be uploaded to IPAS and the competent authority must send the original paper certificate to accompany the consignment. Documentary checks from January to the April 2024. From the 31st of January 2024 to the 30th of April 2024, documentary checks for medium risk animal products from EU and EFTA countries will be undertaken on a randomly selected sample of consignments arriving at GB ports. Goods subject to these sample documentary checks on medium risk animal products from EU and EFTA countries will not be held for inspection and no charges will be levied. As now, from 31st of January, it is possible that goods identified as non-compliant would be subject to enforcement action. In this case, the goods could be destroyed without compensation if they pose a risk. From the 31st of January, if you import medium risk animal products from the EU into Great Britain and your consignment is selected for a check, DEFRA will provide individual feedback. Anonymised feedback summaries will be provided to the wider stakeholder community via a composite summary of common errors and issues raised as part of the checks. The feedback will give indications to traders and other stakeholders of the potential consequences of errors 
and the action that PHA and allied inspectors may undertake should these errors occur after 30th of April. Charges and fees for SPS checks. When checks at the border come in from the 30th of April 2024. Government run border control posts, privately run border control posts and port health authorities can apply charges for handling com commodities. These offset the running and manning costs of the examination facilities, as well as other costs, including the positioning of consignments ready for inspection. Government run BCPs. We are now analysing the responses to the consultation arrange, arrangements at government-run border control posts in England. We expect to publish an update shortly. Private sector companies that operate BCPs at airports and maritime ports can also levy charges. This is a commercial decision for each BCP operator, so contact them for details. Animal Plant Health Agency. Separate charges for official controls on live animals, plants and plant products. Groupage, land bridge and trusted trader. Definition of groupage. The practice of transporting multiple consignments using the same transport method. This includes single consignment, combining products of the same commodity type, e.g. cheese and butter, both dairy, under one health certificate and transporting them together, or mixed load. This is combining various SBS commodity types e.g. dairy and meat products, on the same transport, each with its own health certificate. This method can also include a mix of SBS controlled and non-SBS goods. Responsibility. To prevent delays, businesses must understand their compliance needs, understand risk categories and health certificate requirements, consider options for transporting goods such as consolidation hubs or multi-pickup methods, seek advice from the competent authorities in the exporting country as needed. Land bridge transits. Low risk animal products from EU and EFSA using GB as a land bridge. From the 31st of January 2024, submit import notifications on IPAS. Medium risk animal products from EU and EFTA countries using Great Britain as a land bridge. From 31st of January 2024, submit import notifications on IPAS and health certificates will be required. We have published streamlined transit health certificates. High risk animal products from EU and EFTA countries using GB as a land bridge. Process will, re will remain as now. From the rest of the world goods, all risk categories, process will remain as now pending further risk assessment. The Accredited Trusted Trader Scheme. The Accredited Trusted Trader Scheme, or ATTS, will help businesses that import medium risk products as defined by the border target operating model to Great Britain. Medium risk products in this scheme, products of animal origin and animal byproducts. It is a modular flame framework to provide businesses with flexibility and choice in how they engage with a trusted trader approach. Three pilots have been developed, checks away from the border, Certification logic, Logistics and Pilot Journey Assurance. Each module will be piloted as a first step to determine if the module will be included as part of the scheme indefinitely. From 31st of January, the pilots for the Certification Logistics will begin. From 30th of April, pilots for the checks away from the border will begin. Resources and engagement. There is a number of business leaflets and video guides on GovUK. You can download them now from GovUK or follow the link here. There are information sessions running throughout January. Visit Eventbrite for more details. Check GovUK pages for updates and clear accessible guidance on the process for importing the product type that you are importing. Join our Trader Readiness Survey and get involved in the Business Readiness Forum. For more information and joining instructions, please email the email address on the screen. This is the end of the presentation.